Oh, we have to make the channel. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we really took this. This is my cat, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to My Mini Zoo, and today I'm going to show you all of my pets. The first pet I'm going to tell you about is my horse, Mac. I've been riding horses ever since I was three years old. You're doing good. Wow. So you're not even holding on. You're a pro. So you look, mom, no hands. Good job. When I was five, I was introduced to Mac. What's she doing? What's this guy's name? <gasps> Mac is a Welsh pony. He's lazy, but he's very sweet. I love to give him peppermints and watermelon rind. He's a great horse for when you first learn how to ride, but he's not the best for competitions. When I was nine years old, I entered my very first horse show. Since Mac wasn't really interested in participating, I had to find a new horse, and her name is Ella. She is also a Welsh pony. She's the color gray, but she looks white, and she's about 13 to 15 years old. I've been in two competitions so far, and as a matter of fact, I had a horse show yesterday, and it turned out pretty good. What just happened? I got first on the pole. Whoa. I got first place in my first pony, and first place in the walk trot poles, and I got fourth place in walk trot and sixth place in walk. Ella did really good. I was very proud of her and I was pretty proud of myself too. One day I hope to have my very own farm where I'll have horses, cows, pigs, chickens, dogs, cats, birds, fish, hamsters, everything you can imagine. But for now, I'll introduce you to the pets I do have. First up is Humphrey. This is my sister Mia, and this is our smallest pet, Humphrey, the Russian dwarf hamster. Mia, what are some things that you like about Humphrey? Well, he's really cute, and he always runs around in his yellow ball. This is our family dog, Cookie. She is currently four years old, and we got her when I was six years old. You ready to go home? Are you ready to go see the kids? Her breed is a Bichon mixed with a little bit of Jack Russell, and she is so fun to play with and so cute. She is so nice to everyone, even strangers. She loves to play with our cat. When she grows her fur out, it's all poofy and fuzzy. She loves to play outside and go on car rides. She likes to sleep in our bed, and but she doesn't like to go and get like her nails trimmed and her fur trimmed and she's just so cute. Bye. This is my cat, Sugar. So he is currently two years old, and I got him on Christmas Eve. A kitten. Oh. You got him? Where? A oh, kitten? Oh my gosh. Wait, oh my Daddy, gosh. is that cat? Daddy, I can't believe it. Allowed. Daddy, this is so amazing. Is this a dream? I love him. When did you get him? Today. Ooh. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get that. Are you Merry, sure this is not a dream? Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what type of cat he is, but his birthday is September 5th, and he is a rescue cat from Animal Hope. He's a good kitty, and we did not declaw him because it's not something that's required and we didn't think that we should do it so that it like wouldn't hurt him or anything hello and he loves to be pet under right here most people think that cats and dogs can't get along but our dog and cat get along they're like brother and sister right he's getting used to our new pet that i'm about to introduce you to that was him okay we'll see you later this is my pet bird, Pepper. I just got him the other day for my birthday. Step up. Boy. He is a cockatiel, and on May 1st, he will be three months old. He doesn't mind me petting him or anything, and we just got him Wednesday. 
You having fun? Yeah. We just got him, didn't we? Yeah. Paid for him for your birthday. Is that cool? Yeah. You excited? What's his name going to be? Pepper. Oh, okay. When we first met him, we went to the store, well, the store that the breeder owns, and they had so many different birds to choose from, and she, I just told her a little bit about myself, and she thought that he would be the perfect match for me. So cockatiels are the cousins of the cockatoos, which are these big white parrots. Hello. 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 <laughs> what do you think about that? It's funny and scary at the same time. He's more scary. Hello. Hello. Yeah. There we go. He got it. He likes to chew on my ear and preen my hair and his feathers. And he really likes these little millet treats and sunflower seeds. The dog and cat are still getting used to him, but Humphrey is already used to him because we used to have other birds. Our first bird, Mr. Kelly the first, he was a green budgie with yellow and black. So we had him when, before I was in kindergarten. I saw I was like four, but sadly he passed away over a few years. And then we got Mr. Kelly the second. He was another green, yellow, and black budgie. But when we got him, we got him from Petco, but we found out that he had a liver disease. So he lived for about three years. This would be his fourth year. Yeah, he lived for about four years. But sadly, he passed away in March. So we got another one from Petco. And then within three days, he also passed away. So lesson is, I do not recommend buying animals from PetSmart or Petco. I recommend going like to a breeder if you really want a bird that will stay with you for a while and that will be healthy. I hope that he learns how to sing and he already chirps. He's still getting used to the house, but he's already used to me because as soon as I first met him, he was about, about a week almost. And so I saw him and then I visited him about five to six times. I visited him about once a week. And on Wednesday, we went over to check on him and he was ready to go. So he, I think, already has a bond with me. So when you get a cockatiel, if you want them to have a good bond with you, you probably don't want to buy them a mirror because then they'll bond with themselves because they'll think that it's another bird. So I don't recommend getting a mirror until about five months later so that they'll already have a strong bond with you. This is Pepper. He's so sweet. I love pets so much. They are my favorite thing in the whole entire world. The point of my channel is to reach other pet lovers and just share our love of pets with them. And if you guys have any questions about your pets, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching episode one of My Mini Zoo. Bye. My mom. Ow. No, sir. Oh, picture's over. Picture's over. Oh, good boy. Hmm.